Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. Uh, another fall color. I've been into fall colors lately. Hi, how are you today? Check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Proverbs 13 verse 20. It says, Walk with the wise and become wise. Associate with fools and get in trouble. Here's my poem. Walk with the wise. Who do you spend time with these days? Are they reflecting Jesus in many ways? Walk with the wise and you will become wise. If you associate with fools, you will hear many lies. The Lord wants you to follow him always. If you associate with fools, you will learn their ways. Those who are wise usually bear fruits in their lives. Fools, on the other hand, end up in stagnation and dies. Here's my essay. I've spent many years of my life associating and even living with fools. During the time I was living in or friends with foolish people, I lived a very unproductive and chaotic life. It is very stressful and tiring to, be, to live with fools. They drain you out of your energy and drag you into their pessimism and passivity. The enemy has used these unwise persons in my life to keep me from realizing dreams and goals. I have said for myself, uh, just recently God convicted me of my boundary issues. I didn't know what they were since I grew up in a family where most of my boundaries were violated. I thank God that he delivered me from such bondage to dwell in the past and walk with fools. When I learned to set boundaries, I know better to set myself apart from fools now. Prayer. Lord, thank you for warning me about the way, ways of the fools. Reflection. Why is boundary setting important in relationships? Uh, I think God created boundaries, physical boundaries that we can actually see. Uh, the separation of the sea from the land, the separation of the sky from, from the land and from the sea. These are boundaries that uh, we need to respect because if we don't, we get in trouble. For example, if we don't know how to swim and when you go to the water, then you don't know your boundary and your limits, then you can drown and die. If you are foolish enough to drive or uh, to drive a, uh, an airplane uh, without um, assistance or without guidance, then you're going to crash and die. Or um, physical boundaries that you see around you, like for example, you, you trespass a house and without the knowledge of the owner of the house, then you can go to jail. So boundaries are very important, especially in relationships, because if there are no boundaries in relationship, it will be a destructive relationship. For example, um, just between husbands and wives, if, um, uh, let's say, one of the partner has a lot of issue with negative um, experience with something, and this person has not actually... Um, claimed responsibility for his issues or his baggage and he actually projects it to the spouse and the spouse on the other hand is so confused because he or she doesn't know what to do because he does not know where all is this coming from so boundaries is important because you're able to actually identify and put a border to what is yours and what is somebody else's. So when you're in a relationship and it's boundaryless, you're just gonna go um, cling to each other, be dependent on each other. So it's it's a way of codependency that you become so um, unproductive when this person is not there to do things for you. So boundaries are very important because uh, they're not bad. A lot of people have a neg negative notion about boundary because they think that when they set a boundary, I think that, that you should be pe with people who are people who knows how to draw boundaries 
or limits because if you don't tell somebody what your limits are they will just be all over you and uh, you don't want to be a doormat to anybody so it's important that you set your boundaries so expectations are clear uh, so you don't uh, get into strife you don't get into conflicts so thanks for watching and I hope that you will be able to walk with the wise and be with wise people try to avoid fools fools unless God is bringing you a foolish person in your life because he's teaching you something. Otherwise, stay away from them or you will learn their ways. Have a blessed day.